I welcome you to this session of ISO 9001-2015 and today we are going to discuss clause number 6.2.2 which is uh, part of clause number 6 quality objectives and planning to achieve them. So as usual first of all I will read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. Clause number 6.2.2 when planning how to achieve its quality objectives, the organization shall determine A, B, C, D, E, there are five points. A, what will be done? B, what resources will be required? C, who will be responsible? D, when it will be completed? E, how the results will be evaluated? So this is a very small clause and in fact this is part of the planning aspect. When we are planning the quality objectives, we determine all these things and put it in a, in a uh, format uh, so that uh, the planned objective is available as a record. And then we implement the objective and keep on updating the record. So when planning to achieve its quality objectives, the organization shall determine number one, what will be done, how we are going to achieve the objective, what all things we are going to do. So in planning, we will be writing about how we are going to achieve the objective, what we are going to do uh, so that we are able to achieve the objective. So this is number A, what will be done. B, what resources will be required? The resources required have got to be spelled out so that everybody is clear about it as to what resources are needed for completing a particular quality objective. So all these resources have to be mentioned in the format for quality objective that we have planned. Who will be responsible? The person who is going to be responsible for achievement of the quality objective, we have to mention his position, his name, and uh, so and 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 make it clear to everybody that this is the person to whom they are supposed to achieve, uh, to whom they are supposed to report with regard to achievement of the quality objective. So, who will be responsible is C. Then D when it will be completed. The timeline, if we have planned the objective for six months, then after six months, whatever is the date on which the objective is going to be completed, that date becomes the date of completion of the quality objective. So we are supposed to mention it in the format for planning of the quality objective. And last point, how the results will be evaluated, how we are going to they say that we have achieved the objective. That means whatever is the target that we have fixed, the value of the target has got to be evaluated. The finally what we have achieved has got to be evaluated and then we compare it with what we had planned and see whether we were able to achieve uh, the, the target or not. If we are not able to achieve the target, then we have to set a revised target for the next set of objective on the same topic and uh, lower down our target so that we are able to achieve the target. So this is how we are supposed to, uh, you know, uh, find out all the details and put them in the format. All the details should be available in the format, whatever we have discussed from A to E. That means what will be done, what resources will be required, who will be responsible, when it is going to be completed and how the results will be evaluated. So results uh, are normally evaluated with regard to the target that we fix. So we try to see how much we have been able to achieve the target, to what extent and if we have not been able to achieve it, what are the reasons behind it so that when we fix the revised target, we take care of those aspects. And this is all, this is a small clause. I hope you have understood 
all the parts of this class and if there is anything which is not clear to you please put your uh, doubt or whatever uh, is not clear to you below this uh, in, in remarks below this video so that i'll be able to explain to you once again and if you are liking my videos please give me a thumbs up give me a like and um, uh, also share my videos with your friends and colleagues so that whatever knowledge exchange is happening between us they are also able able to take advantage of that and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that the information with regard to loading of the video will reach you well in time and you will be able to see it without any delay sometimes there are delays in loading the video it is all because of internet problems most likely okay thank you see you on next sunday again bye bye